could you see could you see my screen yes ma'am ah yes yes ma'am ah see here so to forget his uh, the thought of his wife's death lady love's death he took a volume of book and started reading see whenever we read books for a long time automatically sleep induces so when edgar allan poe was reading he was nearly napping napping na abbe koli thookum how ragul said i am very much sleepy sleepy he said like that uh, edgar allan poe was nodding his head while i nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping when he was nodding his head just keeping the book on his lap and reading sitting on a sofa and he could hear some some uh, tapping sound abbe bada 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 abin kekku okay as if someone is tapping as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door then edgar allan poe listened it carefully he could see some sound gently rapping bada 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 abin chamber door and the room door okay at the entrance of the room door he could hear then he thought in his mind oh it is midnight it's some it's some visitor maybe who oh, they wanted to stay in my house uh, for this whole night so he muttered he spoke in a low voice it's some visitor i muttered tapping at my chamber door one lay this and nothing more so he went out and he opened the door he found nothing else he found nothing else bada 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 kekudu tak 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 nu kekudu but nobody is there only this and nothing more then ah distinctly i remember it was in the bleak december and each separate dying ember brought its ghost upon the floor eagerly i wished the maru vainly i had sought to borrow from my books sources of sorrow sorrow for the last lenore for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name lenore nameless here for ever more see again the stanza continues ah distinctly i remember it was in the bleak december this incident happens in the month of december as you all know the english people or the european people will dislike the december month why is it so means it is a severe winter cold winter period for them so they hesitate to live in the month of cold december he has used this uh, adjective bleak bleak means dismal dismal means hopeless hopeless condition whole december december month is personified as bleak december hopeless sad without any briskness or oh, distinctly i remember it was in the bleak december and each separate dying ember brought its ghost upon the floor see you know that in foreign countries the center of the hall uh, there will be a hearth place a fireplace there will be fireplace just to warm themselves up during this winter season so he looked at the fire in the hearth place that whereas all those that wooden fire dies each separate dying ember rot its ghost upon the floor smoke eliminates from that fire and uh, that smoke seemed to be ghost upon the floor 
போக மூட்டமா ஆயிருச்சு அந்த ஃபயர் பிளேஸ்ல இருந்து உடனே அப்படியே கேர்ஸ்ட் மாதிரி இவனுக்கு தெரியுது ஓகே ஹி குட் சி ஆஸ் இஃப் கேர்ஸ்ட் இஸ் அப்பான் த ஃபுளோர் தட் ஷேடோ தட் ஷேடோ ஆஃப் தட் ஸ்மோக் எலிமினேட்டிங் ஃப்ரம் தட் ஃபயர் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் பா one of you answer yes ma'am yes ma'am mm-hmm. and so what it, is the name of that uh, fireplace ma'am hearth h e a r t h hearth hearth shall i continue hmm and each separate dying ember rot its ghost upon the floor eagerly i wished the morrow vainly i had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow sorrow for the last lenore see this man was alone the speaker was alone in that room and uh, he is very afraid of the ghost that will attack him edo ஒண்ணு தாக்க போகுதோ இந்த டிசம்பர் மந்த் தட் டு இன் திஸ் மிட் நைட் அப்படின் பயந்து ஆ when um, dawn it will become when the morning it will become i hate this night sometimes when we are obsessed in a particular thought we expect the next morning to come while we are uh, tossing on the bed porandu porandu நாளைக்கு எப்போ வரும் எப்போ வரும் when it will when it will be dawn when we will see the rising of the sun we expect like that edgar allan poe also wished the morrow morrow means tomorrow morning he expected the morning vainly i had sought to borrow he has borrowed many books from his own library surcease of sorrow he wanted to relieve relief okay surcease means relief right surcease means relief so he wanted to relieve himself from his sorrow so he borrowed that book from his own library to forget his lady love lenore but he could not but he could not forget her for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name lenore now lenor lenor is no more lenor is virginia clum lenor is the lady love of the speaker the poet of this poem for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name edgar allan poe calls his wife virginia clum but the na- but the angels call her lenor she is a rare and radiant maiden abey or angel bright okay avlo angel apriya alaha and the angels they love to see her beauty and they called her lenor but there is no one in this earth to call her name nameless here for ever more ava pera sulli kupra inge yarume illaye avale illaye apdinrar understood pa students ah shall i continue ah yes mm. look at the next stanza so the angels called virginia clum lenore see if we see the rhyme scheme of this we could understand the internal rhyme and the rhythm o o o o like this ever more lenore do before like this we we could see o sound repeatingly then and the silk and sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me thrilled me with the fantastic terrors never felt before 
so that now to still the beating of my heart i stood repeating it some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door this it is and nothing more see first he thought there might be some ghost from the ember produced from the fire then the shadow falls on the floor he thought oh it may be the ghost then he could hear i could remember uh, the movie in uh, what is it chandramukhi chandramukhi la rajinikanth will explain how ghost will appear to vadivel ha sala 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 nu kekum valike pu sound sorry vasana varum kolisjatha kekum like that appi sollu vanla like that here also edgar allan poe says dooradla varu na ivula edu like that he says and the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain there is a curtain which is a, which is purple in color red color the purple creates the sound rustling sound sala 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 apdi ena sound kekudhu and the silken cloth filled me oh the poet was thrilled filled me with the fantastic terrors bayand nadangi itu varaiku illama never felt before he felt that moment so that now to still the beating of my heart ulla loved up loved up loved up i stood repeating how oh, it some visitant entreating entrance at my chamber door yaro tatranga sala sala ninge kaathu inge sound yaar vandirukra in the late visitor who is that leave that who is that abbe in the chamber door kitta poraaru okay he went to the nearer to the chamber door this it is and nothing more hoy patha there is no one else there is no one else then presently my soul grew stronger hesitating then no longer sir said i or madam truly you are forgiveness i implore but the fact is i was snapping answer gently you came rapping rapping at my chamber door just a minute i'll scroll the screen ah um, so again he thought that uh, there may be some visitors entering at the entrance of his door but there is no one else this is this and nothing more just a minute pa Hmm. see here so there is no one else when he opened the chamber door so his soul grew stronger and stronger na dhairya padathanu my soul should be very stronger hesitating then no lo- lo- no longer okay there someone has visited the ch- they are standing at my chamber door oh it may be sir or it may be madam truly your forgiveness i implore implore means implore means request okay he requested he said he said but the fact is i was snapping ana ivar thooka kalakadala abbiye yaro sara madam who has come so gently you came rapping sala 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 and the sound then next scene
students can you see ma it's loading ma'am loading ah and so faintly you came you came tapping tapping at my chamber door that i scarce was sure i heard you here i open wide the door darkness there and nothing more so again he just kept the book and he went to the chamber door and he opened the door where the tapping sound he could hear bada 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 oh it may be sir it may be ma'am somebody else somebody uh, visitor has entered in this midnight going to pour her but uh, he opened he is opening the door wide unfortunately there is no one else no sir or no madam darkness there and nothing more everywhere he could see only darkness nobody is there then deep into the darkness peering long i stood there wondering fearing doubting dreaming dreams no matter ever dare to dream before but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave no token and the only word they had spoken was the whispered word whispered word lenore this i whispered and an echo murmured back the word lenore nearly the sun nothing more then when he opened the door wide he could see nothing else only darkness so deep into the darkness romba neram poi paakrar peering looking for a long time stood and wondering oh who has come who has tapped who has rapped who has produced the sound the tapping sound paathite irukkar fearing doubting dreaming dreams no mortal he could even he could see no mortal beings at all in that midnight in the darkness no mortal ever dared to dream before ipdi oru kanavu kuda kandradilla naan idukku munadi so i am watching but no one else is there but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave no token the silence in that in his heart also unbroken his heart beats lap tap lap tap apa who it may be who it may be nobody else no mortal beings oh his mind whispered at last lenor my lady love lenor has come she has come back to see me this i whispered and then echo murmured again when he repeated the word lenor again the word is heard lenor nearly this and nothing more okay appa lenor ah da irukum appadina he consoles himself back into the chamber turning all my soul within me burning the atma kalagathila de bhayangarama yaar 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 oh lenor ah lenor soon again i heard a tapping somewhat louder than before surely said they ah uh, surely said they uh, surely that is something at my window lattice let me see then what the threat is and this mystery explore let me heart be still a moment and this mystery explore it is the wind and nothing more see now edgar allan poe consoles himself who oh, it may be the ghost of my lady love lenor so he turned into his chamber all my soul within me burning avan enga apdi erinjikittirukku yaar 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 nu soon again i heard a tapping somewhat louder than before ipo marubadiyum again he could hear the tapping sound but this sound does not come from the chamber door but it comes from window lattice window mele oru shelf mari irukum la oru the sun shade that's called the lattice we call okay anga irundhu pada 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 tapping sound that rapping sound he could hear 
ஹோ லெட் மி சி தென் வாட் த த்ரெட் இஸ் யார் இப்படி என்னை பயமுடுத்துறா ஓஹோ இஸ் த்ரெட்டனிங் மீ த்ரெட் பா சாரி த்ரெட்டன் இருக்கு த்ரெட் அண்ட் திஸ் மிஸ்ட்ரி எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் ஐ வாண்டட் டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் திஸ் மிஸ்ட்ரி ஹூ இஸ் தேர் ஹூ இஸ் தேர் ஓ ஹார்ட் யூ ஆர் வீட்டிங் ஆல்வேஸ் ஸ்டாப் ஃபார் அ மோமெண்ட் அப்படின அவர் ஹார்ட்டையே சொல்றார் ஹி இஸ் சேயிங் டு ஹிஸ் ஹார்ட் ஸ்டாப் ஃபார் அ மோமெண்ட் ஸ்டில் பீ அ மோமெண்ட் திஸ் மிஸ்ட்ரி எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் அண்ட் when he checked his window lattice it is the wind and nothing more <laughs> he could see only he could hear only the window sound but nothing else then next turn just a minute open here i flung the shutter when with many a flirt and flutter in the stepre stately raven of the saintly days of you not the least obeisance made he not a minute stopped or stayed he but with mien of lord or lady perched upon my same chamber door sorry perched above my chamber door perched and sat and nothing more look at the next stanza when he opened the door there is no one else only the wind nothing more he says but immediately what happened he a stately raven or majestic or andan kaka anga vandu apdi thumura nadandu varudhu parandu ulla varudhu okay how it comes means open here i flung the shutter shutter abbi open pandra with many a flirt and flutter abbi flutter fluttering the bird is fluttering with its uh, uh, wings okay in that stepped a stately raven stately majestic okay majestic raven of the saintly days of your romba palamai vaindha your your means the past okay of the past your means of the past stately means majestic raven which belongs to the past days olden period uh, in our uh, tradition also we say that all the ravens are our ancestors andankaka va nammude culture layum nama munnorgal nu solluvom like that he has also said this raven or uh, obedience it never shows even or a bow eva the poet is here he only opened the shutter this majestic raven entered by fluttering okay it never shows bow not a minute stopped or stayed he yarnu kuda ipdi paakala just the raven even did not see this man whom he is minute stopped or stayed he he refers to the raven here he refers to the raven but with mean of lord or lady obeisance means bow of respect mean means appearance in his appearance he did not even show any respect the bird did not show any respect and the raven perched above my chamber door first it sat for a while on the chamber door and the chamber door la poi konja neram ukkarudhu it is sitting for a while on the chamber door but later it perched upon a bust of pallas just above my chamber door again this bird sat on the pallas the bust of pallas see uh, now i could see the bust of all my students bust means up to this shoulder level uh, appearance up to this shoulder level Uh, we could see many statues mahatma gandhi ji statue or any other uh, national leaders subhash chandra bose and the statue ibdi half a irukum paathirukringala up to the shoulder may i come in 
Yes, ma'am. Ah, yes. Like that. There is a statue in the speaker's house. Bust means face and up to shoulder level statue. That statue is none other than statue of Pallas. Pallas is the goddess of wisdom. In Athens, um, in eighteen, there is a place in Greece. You know, of course, it is the god of sorry, goddess of wisdom. Pallas is the goddess of wisdom. In Indian tradition, which is the goddess of wisdom? Saraswati, ma'am. Saraswati, goddess of learning and goddess of water also. Goddess of, uh, sorry, god of wisdom. I shall ask like like this. Um, god of wisdom. Goddess, but we are, here we pray god of wisdom. Daily in my prayer, I used to say a slogan. Dakshana oh, mutte. No, 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 no. I agree with. Ah, Lakshmi Hayagriva. He is the god of wisdom. Like that, in Avrida Yanathin Kadavul. Understood? Ah, in Greek, they used to pray the goddess of wisdom, the Pallas. The Pallas. And uh, who is the goddess of uh, learning? Goddess of knowledge in Greek, Greek. Here, Saraswati, you said in Greek, who is the goddess of um, knowledge? Okay, I will tell Minerva, right? Minerva, M I N E R V A. Minerva is the goddess of knowledge goddess of wisdom is pallas understood pa ah, i shall continue this stanza alone i will complete see so this bird perched sat for a while on the bust of pallas and the statue of the bird just above my chamber door perched and sat and nothing more. Then look at the next stanza. It said nothing. The raven did not even croak. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. Just a minute. Hmm. By the grave and stern decorum. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. See, the bird did not say anything. It did not utter anything else, but it is very serious. The appearance of the bird is very grave. Grave means serious looking. Stern. Stern means also seriously looking somebody else. Decorum. Decent behavior. They call them decent behavior. They call them does one dignity more than uh, more than God saves its purity. They call them what is it? One of you answer my question. 
Now one day I said, pa, they call them? I couldn't hear. Louder, pa. Security, ma. Security. No, no, no. Decorum does one dignity more than life. God, it's purity. Another thirukural in English. With the same tone, you can identify that thirukural. Decorum does one dignity more than life. God, it's purity. Welcome, welcome, Taralan. Hmm. Welcome, we're in a momba padam. That's why they call him. They call him now. Welcome, decent behavior. See here, the bird with its serious looking, stern decorum, decent behavior of the countenance. Countenance may face. If we look at the bird's face. We could see that serious looking. See, though thy crest be shown and shaven, though I said archer no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore, tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore. Caught the raven, never more. Here only the reference starts. The refrain of this poem, refrain means, you please write R E F R A I N. Refrain. Refrain means repeatedly saying the same line. Repeatedly using the same line in each stanza. Thereafter, in all these stanzas, we could see cut the raven never more this is the refrain in this poem understood pa thirupi thirupi varum la adhe line that's what we call refrain hmm. each stanza we could see this see the poet asked him him here refers to raven okay he though they crest be shown uh, when he looks at the appearance of the raven as if someone a crest in a head, right? Crest means head. Crest be shown. Shown na hairless. Hairless. No hair at all. How we have got tonsured. When we have got tonsured, there won't be any hair. There won't be any hair. Like that, the raven, the crest, it is shown hairless. Unshaven, fully shaven. I said, Archer, no craven. Craven, no coward. Right? C R A V E N. Craven means coward. Calling. You are not a bird of coward. You are not a bird of coward. Cowardness. Archer, no craven. You are not a craven. You are not a coward. You are a strong, fearless bird, the poet says. Ghastly, grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore. See, the poet thought that in this midnight, the bird has come from a distant Plutonian shore. Plutonian means the lower world, the underworld. Plutonian means one of you answered? The unknown world. Aha, underworld. Underworld, ma'am. Ah, underworld, hell, hell. Opposite of paradise. Plutonian shore. The poet thought that, oh, this bird might have come from the hell, the plutonian shore, from the nightly shore. Tell me what the lordly name is. Oh, 
உன் நேம் என்ன பிளீஸ் டெல் மீ யூ ஹாவ் பீன் வாண்டரிங் ஃப்ரம் தி நைட்லி ஷோர் அட் அ டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிளேஸ் ஹி குட் சி ஷோர் சி ஷோர் அஃப்கோர்ஸ் அந்த பிளேஸ்ல இருந்து நீ வந்திருக்கிற உன் பேர் என்ன Tell me what the lordly name is. The bird immediately responded, immediately replied, Caught the raven, never more. Caught the means said. Caught the means said. The bird immediately replied, What's your name? Tell me. The white was shocked to hear. The bird replied, Never more. What's your name? The bird said. never more mm, yes then much a marvel this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly though its answer little meaning little relevancy bo for we cannot help agreeing that no living being ever at was blessed with the seeing bird above his chamber door bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door with such name as never more see the poet was shocked to see the bird speaking plainly uttering its name never more much i marveled at this ungainly fowl see ungainly means ugly up to this i'll stop pa today ungainly means ugly foul foul means dirty smell comes from the birds foul are you listening yes ma'am ah much he marveled the poet was shocked to hear this bird which is plainly discoursing discourse means to talk to speak right discourse means to speak much i marvel this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly though its answer little meaning ivan ketta unai answer panachu when the poet asked him the poet sorry the bird immediately replied with a little meaning what's your name you please tell me the bird said never more so he says little relevancy bore there is a sort of relevancy edho or relevancy irukku na ketta question ku nee panna answer irukum okay for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door so the poet says oh i am lucky to see such a bird perching on my chamber door no human being is here in this world to see a bird or beast beast any animal upon the sculptured bust sculptured bust of course the bust of pallas above his chamber door chamber door ku mele or cell irukku that is bust of pallas so he could see the bird that so he is lucky he says with such a name as never more i shall end my teaching of course now i shall continue tomorrow pa Okay ma'am. Okay ma'am. Okay ma'am. Okay ma'am. Thank you ma'am.